Hi there, welcome back. In the previous lecture, we learned how to enroll Intune devices to Endpoint Analytics. Now in this lecture, we will learn uh, how to enroll in the Configuration Manager devices to Endpoint Analytics. So it is very straightforward. I would uh, I would suggest if you are uh, trying to design, uh, first you configure from an Intune point of view and then come back to this step. So, because the reason is, uh, in the Intune, you might have already configured by this time and you should be able to see uh, this kind of, you know, configuration. Otherwise, these things, if it is already grayed out, meaning it is not even configured, that indicates that uh, even though you enable here the required configuration, that which we are learning in this uh, lecture, uh, after this lecture, you might have to again re-enable uh, which you have done in the previous lecture. So that's why I would always suggest uh, you first configure that Intune onboarding and then perform the Intune, uh, sorry, the Config MGR specific devices onboarding. Uh, either way, both the configurations are required if you have a, if you are trying to use a co-management enabled devices or you have a devices on a on-prem to be monitored or to be report for your health specific with the endpoint analytics, then both the, both the configurations to be done. So that being said, uh, all you have to do is you have to navigate to, uh, as a first step to cloud attach. Cloud attach, if you are uh, working for the first time, you can go open up the config MGR console and point to administration and then go to the cloud attach and right click here so that you can configure your cloud attach. So this is a wizard that, that's gonna come up uh, in order to configure your cloud attach. And this endpoint analytics is part of this wizard and you could even configure later point also, just in case if you have not configured, you can always go back and configure. So in my case, I'm working on Azure environment for public cloud, not as a US God or China cloud. So I would you know, select your public cloud and sign in. This is gonna open up my new uh, browser. Uh, this is where I need to you know, choose my cloud services account. In my case, uh, this is the account that has a full permission. So I would give this account which has an Intune full permissions. And after that, I would you know, sign into Microsoft Intune with the user ID and password and now click on next. So now it's gonna create a new application called Paddy Demo 123 uh, in my Azure Active Directory. So what would happen is in the back end, it will, it will create an application in Entra uh, with the one of the application or you name it as the Azure AD or Microsoft Entra ID. It actually creates here an application with Paddy Demo 123. That's what it's gonna create. So I can you know, click on yes, uh, then that would automatically create here an application and it will make an establishment between uh, Config MGR with Microsoft Intune by using that application. So let's actually complete this wizard. And if you see here, uh, during the wizard, it has already checked enable endpoint analytics to upload the devices to true. So let me show you that option again. If I just go back to the cl cloud attached from the properties, you have an option here to upload the enable endpoint analytics for devices to upload to Microsoft Intune. So from here on, whatever the devices that I have in my config MGR, all that can upload all of these devices, their data to Microsoft Intune with the help of Microsoft Graph API as well as the other URLs that are we configured during the firewall request change or these are the URLs it would use to upload automatically the required data. So that being said, now we have almost done, but one last step to be done, that is nothing but the client agents. So within the client agent configuration, that is again, you have to just navigate to administration uh, from the client agents and create either a new uh, policy or you can edit your default, but I don't recommend editing the default one. Instead, you could you know actually create a new one. But in my case, since it's a lab, I'm actually uh, open up, uh, opening this default client agent settings and navigate to client agent settings. So computer agent setting. So here you have an option to send the data to enable endpoint analytics data to collection. So by selecting this 
configuration from node to S would automatically upload the data from a client to endpoint analytics. So this is how it's going to collect the data. So these are the two configurations that needs to be done uh, from config MGR point of view and then you're good. So one final configuration would be uh, if you remember if you have not done this specific setting uh, in the previous lecture what we have enabled that has to be created so that it's going to apply the policy health monitoring uh, configuration policy for all the devices or a specific set of this is how you would be you know, configuring and the rest of the configuration steps remain same that we learned so far from the beginning of this section i hope this lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this i'll catch you in the next lecture